Irina. We've asked one of our elders. I'm here at Lumby Spring Pow Wow with our chairman, Chairman Jimmy Goins. It's good to see you, Chairman Goins. Good to see you today. What do you think about the Pow Wow? Are you pleased with the outcome and everything so far? Well, in the spirit of the, the Pow Wow this year has been the best we ever had. And, and uh, the ones out here watching, if you're not here, you'll miss the treat of your life. Especially little kid we had the blanket thanks for was handicapped. And everybody's so happy and all smiles. And we're sending all our kids in a positive environment. I think this is the best one we ever had. I agree with you. Could you explain? You always explain it best. It's Lumpy Spring Pow Wow Dance of the Spring Moon and why we've named it that. Well, tradition, as everyone knows, we uh, depend on Mother Earth to get our corn, our butter beans, our cabbage, okra, uh, those sw uh, sweet potatoes, Irish potatoes. And so we call it the Dance of the Spring Moon simply because we want to thank Mother Earth for the blessings in the fall of the year when we go to harvest our crops. We're hoping Mother Earth would be, look up upon us favorably and will give us a good garden crop this year. And the farmers will make a good crop too. Hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you. Welcome back. I'm here with Senator David Weinstein here at the Lumbee Pow Wow. We just want to thank you. As far as I can remember, as long as you've been in office, you've always been a huge supporter of uh, the Lumbee community, and you've always attended our Pow Wows. And we just want to take this time to show our appreciation, to thank you. What do you think about the Pow Wow this year? Oh, the Pow Wow this year I think is one of the best you've ever had. Uh, and I love to see all the tribes get together and enjoy one another and celebrate their Indian heritage. I think it's a wonderful tribute and uh, the Lumbee tribe uh, I hold in the highest esteem. Senator, what um, impact do you think that this powwow has on the community here in Robinson County? Well, anytime you get people together and you have food and fellowship, and see people getting along, it has a wonderful impact, not only economically, but just brotherhood and just getting together and being what you are. And I think it uh, is just a wonderful thing for Robinson County. And I appreciate Lumbee's hosting it here. I think it's a great event. All right, thank you, Senator. Now it's time for you to get some chicken bog. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I wanted, some good chicken bog. Thank you for your time. Stand by for our flag song. We'll let TBZ bring the rest of them in the arena here. Folks, put your hands together and thank you to the boys and the young birds for some kicking songs, man. That's what I'm talking about. Bring it in good style here in Lumbee Country. Welcome back to Lumbee Pow Wow. I'm here with Patrick Green. He's a men's traditional dancer, and he's also a member of the Boys and Girls Club of the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina. Patrick, how long have you been dancing? Uh, for about five years, I've been dancing. And you're a men's traditional dancer? Yes, ma'am. Now, what kind of impact do you think that the Lumbee Pow Wows had on the Lumbee community this weekend? I think it has a great impact because it keeps kids off the street, you know, keeps them s busy with stuff to do. And you're also, you also kind of instruct, I guess, 
our, the younger members of the Boys and Girls Club each week with culture classes, with dancing, with singing. Um, how do you enjoy that? I enjoy that a lot. It's great to see uh, young kids, you know, wanting to learn and know about our culture. I think it's great. And this is the weekend for them to showcase everything that you guys have worked so hard throughout the year to teach them, right? Yep. Uh, we had some kids that uh, are out here in the power today dancing and jamming out. It feels great to watch them, you know, from how far they come. All right. And you're a senior. You're going to graduate this year from high school. All right. Good luck in your future, Patrick. Thanks. He's an employee for the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina. He just rode the seatbelt convincer. Um, how did it feel, George, the impact? I never could imagine that a 10-mile-per-hour impact could be that crucial. crucial. Um, imagine it going 50 miles per hour and running into a tree. Nah, that would, I couldn't imagine it. So the lesson from this is you're going to go back to the Boys and Girls Club and you're going to tell our kids not to drink and drive, right? Yep. All right, wear your seatbelt. Hi, this is Ozzy Osbourne. For many years, you know I've had a drink problem and I'm, I'm trying to battle that problem every single day. But one thing I don't do, I don't drive my car when I'm drinking. I get someone to drive me. Do not drink and drive. It's the stupidest thing. If you drink, just don't drive. Not only are you going to hurt yourself, you may hurt some other person and you wouldn't want that on your conscience, would you? A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation, RAD, the National Association of Broadcasters, and the Ad Council.